All right, guys, we are back for another TCF food review. And this time we have quite the haul. We <laughs> from our friends at It's a Bodega in Denver, Colorado. Uh, they did not disappoint at all. I saw this deal going on. I've had it sitting around. We've been there. Bit. We have. Great place that now have a second location open. Um, so I had to cop this deal. Um, Where is your second location at? It's somewhere around the Denver area, in Denver. I believe. Okay. I believe. Don't quote me on that. Uh, but we've got an assortment of things. They had a Kit Kat box for sale. Um, we all know we love Kit Kats. We have a whole video ranking Japanese Kit Kats. Uh, so I also had to pick up a couple other things. We have a Fanta, uh, Savor Mangyu. Uh, I think it's Dragon Fruit. Um, I'm Was not it say Original Orange Fanta? My favorite. One of the best. I am not sure uh, what country this comes from. Um, while I explain the other one, Zach, I want you to look and see if you can see another country's name. Uh, but we also have a peach Coca-Cola from China, I believe. Um, again, not a thousand percent sure because I don't, uh, I can't read this, but um, I like peach. I'm okay on Coke. I don't hate Coke. I, so. have, uh, I have some findings. It says Coca-Cola European Partners France. Perfect. But yeah. that's all I see. That that would make so, sense because it says uh, Savior Mangu Fruit de yep. Dragon. So you like that how I did that? <laughs> you said it I'm sexually. <laughs> well, I don't know if I go that far, but I said it in a French like manner. But I feel like I I don't mean to be rude, but I feel like if you're French, it's just it is, everything you says it is a sounds one of sexual. The, the romantic language. Yes. We also have a great assortment of Kit Kats here from kind of all around the lands. Uh, Just so you know, some of these uh, we may not know the name of, so we have a picture of them so you can see what they are. Um, we're not even entirely but let's, sure. Let's get into the box, though. Look at the box. Just phenomenal Look packaging. At the box. I mean, phenomenal packaging. It says, it's a bodega. Have a break. Have a Kit Kat. I mean, this is... Uh, variety mix bodega box features four four finger bars, two four chunky bars, six minis from all over the world. Um, this is how you do a box too. Yeah, oh yeah, it's a bodega. Absolutely nailed this. So we've got a good assortment of goodies here. What is um, it? Here's the box. Here's this beautiful, beautiful handcrafted. You want to start small? And, or Let's start, start small. All right, and then we'll, because. We'll go with this one last, Yo. because this is my favorite. We we're not going to show you yet, but this is going to be my favorite. Uh, let's start with uh, let's start with the unknowns. Right here we have, uh, I believe it's Chinese I think all or minis, Japanese. I think all the mini ones we have except one are unknown. Yeah, I'm going to guess that that's a hazelnut one, but we'll get to that in a minute. Do you know? Strong fruit smell here. Oh my goodness. Strong fruit smell. Go ahead and grab it. strawberry-ish. I was thinking strawberry as well. Definitely strawberry. Moving, can you explain to the people how we how we do this ranking? Been a while. So we have a four point scale, four stars on the Chicago flag. Uh, we get down to the decimal point. That legitimately has the tartness of an actual strawberry. Uh, most strawberry flavoring is very artificial nowadays. Um, I don't think you uh, like that, but no. I no. Let me go first. Yeah. A uh, two point eight. Oof. I don't like how I like a Kit Kat bar. I don't like I like a strawberry also, but I don't need them combined. Fair. That was the end of it. You could tell was like the the flavoring of a of a strawberry. I don't need that and chocolate mixed together. See, and, and well, I, but I say that, but I need a strawberry color. dipped in chocolate. Uh, yeah. But that's where I'm kind of higher on this because I like the fact that it it doesn't have the insanely artificial strawberry taste that a lot of things that we have here in America have. That that tastes like a like the, you have the sourness of an actual okay, strawberry. Literally you you could you could smell it. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I'm gonna go like a three point two. Not not the best, uh, but uh, definitely the up there. I have zero clue what this is. Um, we're gonna get into this. Something one. orange. Something orange. I also made. I'm gonna guess, have to go maybe like sherbet. I'm gonna go off the 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 other end here. I think these this like little pattern on here means something. I'm gonna go with like a waffle flavor. It is chocolate. Oh man, I love sherbet though. Sherbet ice cream. Shout out. Is it called sherbet ice cream or is it just called sherbet? I think it's our grandpa gave it to us. Yeah. 
Here we go. That sounds like dark chocolate. Smell that. That smells like dark chocolate. I still have no idea what this is, but it tastes good. It's definitely dark chocolate. Not bad, but I just don't have any idea what it is. No clue. I'm going to go ahead and take a wild stab here. I feel like that's some sort of like, it wants to be like a honey flavor on the inside with a dark chocolate. That's a 3.2. I agree. I'm gonna that's, go, that's really good. I'll go, I I like that better than the strawberry one. I'll go 3.3 three on that. That is solid. But that's, confusing. Yeah, very. I, I, I would eat another one of those. This is very, pistachios. Pistachio. I don't know how to feel about this. I'm very. I love pistachios. I, I'm very hit, hit or miss on pistachio flavored desserts like pistachio ice cream. You like pistachios? I do like pistachios. You like them shell or not shell? Oh, shell them up. No. Baby. I don't need that work. Oh. You probably don't like sunflower seeds. I love either. sunflower seeds. I don't, that doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. That's strong. No, thank you. I'm going 2.5. That stinks. I I disagree. Not That's stinks, not but like, I could eat it. But like, what the after flavor? I'll be honest. Like, I I don't get a ton of pistachio out of that. I got a lot. I, I don't know if I'm oh. missing something, but oh. uh, I'll go 2.9. 2.9. What are we going to drink these Fontas? Because I have <laughs> this freaking Maybe we'll take a break. Take what a break here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and guess this is hazelnut Kit Kats. Um, so maybe What's like the a, red? That's that's what a hazelnut looks like. A hazelnut is red? Correct. Hmm. Oh, a white chocolate. Maybe a white chocolate hazelnut here? I feel like the white chocolate always hits. I have no idea what... It's definitely... I actually did a hazelnut. Do I like you hazelnut um, coffee? Oh, whatever. like the coffee cream? And this tastes like... I'm going to give this a 3.4. This is really good. That's a perfect 3.0 right there. That's I like white chocolate. Wow. I don't... I like hazelnut. That's solid. That's a really good candy bar. Let's go ahead and take a little break here from the food. Let's go ahead and get into the drinks. Which one do you want to do first, Zach? Uh, let's do the Fanta. We'll go Fanta. We have the... Fanta, Wanta. Don't you want to? Not a commercial, right? That was Fanta, a commercial. Wanta, don't you want to? Oh, that is a That's strong orange, too. color. That is a strong I'm color. I'm going to need more than that. Thank you. That's right there. Ooh, that smells orangey. But it's dragon fruit. You know what it does look like, though? It does look don't like... Don't say it. It looks like urine. <laughs> I'm just going to say, I'm so sorry. You can cut this, but like, <laughs> it looks like urine. That's good. Look, I can't even see you through I know. It. I'm going to keep a little glass of that poured. That's solid. I like that. That's really good. It, it, it does have an orange-esque to it. Well, I love Fanta. I'm going to give that a 3.6. I could drink that every day. Yeah, that's a 3-4 in my book. Oh, is it, is it all gone? No, would you like well, some Well, no, 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 we have to drink the other one. No, we'll, let's do this after we do some more Kit Kats. Oh, we just had to wet our whistle here. So we got to, yeah, yeah knock yourself out so we got something to sip on. You know, here we go. Yeah. yeah. But yes, this is... That's good. I mean, this is absolutely delicious. You definitely get a little bit. I, I feel like it's more of like a tropical fruit, like a like an orange. If you like orange Fanta, you're going to like yeah. this. Yeah, it, it's not overpowering with the dragon fruit. Well, because I would have to say... Orange Fanta is maybe a little overpowering. Yeah. This, and this, this is perfect. Feels like they cut it with the dragon fruit. Do you want to go to the uh, the Chunkies or do you want to do the, the four pieces? Chunkies. We're uh, going to leave this for last. I'm excited. I really like the Kit Kat Chunky brand. Uh, this first one, we have the Gooey Caramel or Caramel, however you choose. Uh, How do you say it? Uh, I'll be honest. I say both. I say Caramel. I, I say caramel and caramel. Sometimes you gotta keep people on the But I like saying caramel because it's like a caramel. That's a big old piece for you right fancy. there, buddy. We're gonna have a tummy ache after this. Oh, yeah. Little sh insulin. You should smell it? Yeah. It smells peanut buttery. It smells like, no, I, it smells like caramely. Oh, I'm done with that. It's hollow in the middle, though. No. My word. 
Yeah, mine was kind of too. That's good though. <laughs> it's like 10.30 at night. We're eating chocolate like it's nothing. Oh yeah, I'm not sleeping. This is for the people. That that is, I mean, that's absolutely delicious. That is really good. What was that from? Gooey caramel. I'm going to leave the rest here. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm going to give that a 3.4. I, I like it, but my only complaint about caramel is it gets stuck in the teeth. Absolutely. And I will say, um, we're big fans of It's a Bodega. We've been there. We've ordered stuff from there. We've done food reviews. What you have to understand is stuff gets shipped from overseas. Like oh. it's, it's not that it is coming in fresh out of the factory. And if you come into that expecting also, like, the quality of a Snickers bar that you get at your local gas station, you have to understand there's a process. These guys don't get that stuff. It's also a very reasonable price. Exactly. Like they get it from a different country and they give it to you for a very reasonable price. Yeah. Like we said, we went to it's a bodega. And we just had the little shopping cart things. We probably spent over a hundred bucks there. Oh yeah, it went and got a ton of stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to find out. And um, the best people too. Yeah, super nice people. I wish I could. I wish I could live in Denver. Uh, this is from Australia. 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 That is a good. Is that what that one from them too? I'm gonna go ahead and guess that this is as well. Um, I don't know, actually. This one says... They look the same. Product of Australia. Hang on. I'm getting there. Australia. So this one I'm really excited about. Zach, have you ever had a Biscoff cookie? The mm -hmm. ones they sell on airplanes? Kind of little shortbread cookies? Hello, mate. Yep. Yep. You nailed sorry, it. Sorry. Uh, I had to say that. <laughs> no, I've never... Well, Biscoff is the one that sells... Uh, Distributes the cookies to airplanes, and that has a really nice big chunk gonna of Biscoff cookie in it. Give it a smell. Smells. Oh, that's really good. Melted. It's been in my pocket for quite a while. <laughs> oh. I didn't mean to be that. I'm just like, I'm smushing it with my two fingers. That's good. I like that a lot. Hey, you know what it tastes like? A crunch bar. It tastes like a crunch bar. It's so much better than a crunch bar. No, but like, you know, like, not as thick. Yeah. But you know, a crunch bar is just basic. I mean, it's basic, but it's thick. If you took a regular Kit Kat and put it on top of a Biscoff cookie that you were to get on an airplane, that is what that tastes like. I like Kit Kats. I love Biscoffs. That is a very good candy bar. That is a three... I'll go three six in my book. I'm a big fan of, of that combination. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go three one. I like it. I don't like it a ton, but it's just like it sounds like they said it sounds like a basic crunch bar. Fair enough. Fair enough. We'll move on to the next one. Uh, we've got another Australian candy bar. Uh, this is the Kit Kat Gold Golden White Chocolate uh, for a deliciously caramelized break. So, I think I'm going to like this a lot. I have had uh, some golden products in the past um, when it comes to, like, the white chocolate. Oh, the, they're even gold looking. Yeah, buddy. Like gold bars. We got two gold bars there. There you go. Oh, it smells very caramely, white chocolatey. Mm hmm Yeah. Not a fan of this. You're a dumb dumb. Oh, that's good. I'm glad you don't like that. I don't have to leave any of that here. Oh. Oh. I don't know if I just uh, ate so much chocolate in the last maybe 10 minutes, but that's like a 2.4. I do not like that at that's all. That's my highest rating. Uh, that's a 3.7 in my book. I love white chocolate. I love caramel. I think I might be on like a, oh, like overdosing on chocolate. Uh, yeah, we might be. Last one out of the box, one I've never seen before. This is the milk chocolate chunk. This is gonna cookie. be my favorite. This is well, but it's not our last one. Yep, that is correct. We have a one more. 
whatever you would call this peach, peach thing. Peach Coke. We're going to keep that for last. Uh, I am very excited about this. Um, oh, boy. Two, this? Uh, this is the Milk Chocolate Chunk Cookie. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. That's it. Wow. I mean, that's number one. And that's a 3 8. I did three eight. I mean, this is unbelievable. The detail. I don't know if you see that the detail. The the chocolate wafers. Oh my god! Chocolate loaded on the inside. That's a three point eight. Maybe I don't know. I should give it a four, but I don't know if I give anything a four. Yeah. But I mean, that I, is that, that is, is something not, else. Yeah. Um, I obviously love the gold. I gave that a 3.7. I will also give that a 3.8. That is one of the I best mean, candies we have reviewed on this YouTube ever. channel. I mean, this I mean, this is crazy. That is so good. We're going to dress in there. Probably oh. later. We also have... Last thing. We got to like wash it all down. Yeah. We got the Let's, peach uh, Coca-Cola from China. Not looking forward to this. Give me less. What do you mean? I mean, it looks gross. It looks like a Coca-Cola. I mean, nah, that's true. It doesn't look gross. I mean, the bottle looks gross. Just because it's different. Oh. oh. I don't want... Oh. That's good. I am admittedly more of a Pepsi fan than a Coca-Cola fan. You can roast me in the comments. I mean, that's pretty good. It's almost like a... It's super light. It's yeah, not, not, it's not what I would think overbearing. It smells stronger than it tastes. I'm going to give it 2.9 because I don't like peach. But, I mean, that's not like what you would think it would be. That's really good. Um, like I said, I think that smells stronger than it tastes. The peach flavoring is very light. Um, and obviously, like I said, I'm admittedly more a Pepsi guy than a Coke guy. You get more of the sweetness from the Coca-Cola than you do the peach syrup or whatever flavoring system they use. I will go... I'll go 3-3 three, three on that. I like that a lot. That's okay, cool. I'm going to go 2.9 just because I'm not a peach guy. Yeah. But if you do like peaches, that's not like overbearing either. Yeah, that's very subtle. It's um, from where? China? I believe that is a Chinese... Uh, it's either from China or Japan. I'm not... I'm pretty sure it's China, but... You can't um, read that? I I got to brush up on my Mandarin. Whatever you do, go to It's a Bodega. Get yourself some delicious international treats. Let us know which ones you liked, which ones we need to Two check Two spots in out. Denver. Yes. Two spots in Denver now. We went to the one spot, and we went there. We combined probably for 300 bucks. Oh, yeah, but got like oh, a lot of a um, book bag full of Because candy you, you go drinks. in there, you're like, oh, I've never had this before. I've never had yeah. this before. They have... And but also, if you don't want to go spend that kind of money, you can pick up a Kit Kat for oh. seven, eight bucks. Also, they give away stuff just like this. This, uh, how much is this movie? Uh, I want to say that box was maybe twenty five dollars. Twenty five bucks for candy from a different country that's far away and looks cool. You got a cool box. I mean, the way they do things over at It's a Bodega is awesome. Give them a shout out. It's a Bodega on social media. Uh, we will tag them when we post this. Thank you for joining us. This was another TCF food review.